Hey folks, how's it going? Mr Mitchell here. In this video we're going to go over the three main equations of motion in the higher physics course. So let's get started. Now it says in the notes here that when objects accelerate at a constant rate in a straight line, we can use three equations to solve problems concerning their motion. And these are known as the three equations of motion. So these three equations are only used when we've got a constant acceleration and we've got motion in a straight line. Anything harder than that will not be in the higher physics course. Our first equation of motion then is V equals U plus AT. Our second equation equation of motion is s equals ut plus a half at squared and our third equation of motion is v squared equals u squared plus 2as. And what do all these symbols mean? Well you've actually seen them all before. So I've written them here in the form of suvat which we'll talk about in a second but it says here that s is displacement measured in meters, u is initial velocity measured in meters per second ms to the minus one, v is final velocity measured in meters per second ms to the minus one, and A is acceleration measured in meters per second squared or meters per second per second and that's ms to the minus 2 and then T is time measured in seconds. Now notice that it says displacement here for S but sometimes a question might give you a distance instead so just use that in place of S and it says here that when attempting problems involving motion it is useful to write down the magic word suvat first to check which variables you are given in the question before going on to do any calculations. So it helps to write down suvat, S, U, V, A and T first on the left hand side of your page before you try any questions because that will help you decide which equation of motion you're going to use. And when tackling these problems there's going to be three of these variables that you definitely know from the question and two which you maybe don't know and then you're going to have to work out which equation to use. So if you want lots of practice and examples of these three equations of motion then check out the worked examples on equations of motion and choosing the correct equation of motion. Lastly we should note that in higher physics we only use constant acceleration so as we said earlier anything where an acceleration is not constant is beyond the scope of this course it's not in the higher physics course. That's all for this video guys I hope you find it useful if you did give it one of these subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.